Imagine a China where deserts once dominated the landscape, now transforming into lush green expanses almost unrecognizable. For decades, the image of China has been closely tied to the relentless sandstorms that plagued its vast regions. But in the last 20 years, something extraordinary has happened. China's efforts to green its land have exploded, creating green spaces so massive, they rival a quarter of the Amazon rainforest. And the driving force behind this transformation? Ingenious machines called sand-swallowing beasts. These devices are working tirelessly in the unforgiving deserts of northwest China, reclaiming the land at an astonishing rate. Today, we'll take you deep into the heart of this incredible mission, exploring how these remarkable machines have changed the landscape in ways that were once thought impossible. If this story of innovation and transformation captivates you, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to click the notification bell, so you never miss out on our latest videos. Now, let's dive deeper into today's fascinating topic. The term sand-swallowing beasts might sound like these machines are literally devouring sand, but it's actually a powerful metaphor for their transformative ability. These machines are equipped with intelligent, automatic seeding systems, capable of not just planting, but improving soil structure and performing precise irrigation. Imagine this, these sand-eating monsters can green up to 260 acres in a single day. That's 50 times more efficient than manual planting methods. It's no wonder this groundbreaking technology has left engineers in the US stunned, especially considering their own challenges with desertification in areas like New Mexico and Texas. In fact, the United States, after the devastating Dust Bowl in the 20th century, recognized desertification as a serious national issue. Fast forward to today, and China's sand-swallowing beasts are not only tackling large-scale greening efforts but also offering a blueprint for global desert management. These machines have proven that cutting-edge technology can restore degraded lands, playing a critical role in the global battle against desertification. Before the 21st century, China faced an alarming rate of land degradation. Statistics reveal that over 2.6 million square kilometers of land, nearly a third of China's total, had succumbed to desertification. Sandification, which affected an additional 1.72 million square kilometers, devoured 18% of the land. Combined, that's nearly half of China's territory turned into barren, uninhabitable land. This not only made cultivation nearly impossible, but also threatened the livelihoods and health of millions of people. In Beijing, for example, sandstorms were an almost monthly occurrence, disrupting life and endangering the city's residents. To combat this, the Chinese government launched massive efforts in the early 21st century, pouring in resources, technology, and manpower. Among the innovative methods introduced was the straw checkerboard technique, applied in the unforgiving Tenga Desert. This simple yet effective approach involves using straw and drought-resistant plants to stabilize the sand and halt its relentless spread. These checkerboard patterns not only stop the sand from shifting, but also encourage the recovery of fragile ecosystems, helping to reduce both the frequency and intensity of sandstorms. Wheat straw and rice straw have also been creatively used to form grass blocks, which block the wind and lock down the sand. The result? higher moisture levels in the soil, better conditions for greening, and the slow but steady transformation of desert wastelands into thriving oases. After decades of this approach, China has managed to reclaim over 6 million acres in the Tenga Desert alone, turning roughly 10% of it into lush green landscapes. This is no small feat. It's a testament to human ingenuity, determination, and the power of technology to reverse even the most severe environmental crises. However, while this method has shown great promise, it comes with significant challenges. The planting and maintenance of these vast desert areas require a large, dedicated workforce operating under harsh conditions. It's a monumental task. Yet, despite the manpower and time investment, the results have proven just how effective this method can be in controlling and preventing desertification. Faced with the ongoing battle against the sprawling Tenga Desert, China has been relentlessly seeking innovative solutions to speed up progress. In February 2024, Chinese scientists made a game-changing breakthrough with the introduction of the Jumang 301, a revolutionary sand control device known as the giant sand-swallowing beast. 
This machine doesn't just stabilize the sand, it integrates cutting edge features to maximize efficiency in ways never seen before. The Jumang 301 boasts an automatic straw loading system that crushes straw with a specially designed compression blade. This straw is then transformed into a sand stabilizing layer that locks in moisture, creating the perfect environment for vegetation to thrive. With its advanced capabilities, this machine promises to accelerate the transformation of the desert, offering real hope for turning the Tenga Desert into a flourishing green oasis sooner than anyone expected. As China's desert control efforts continue to evolve, the Jumang 301 and similar technologies are pushing the boundaries of what's possible. This device not only achieves the perfect planting depth, but also creates wind-blocking square-shaped plots that stabilize the sand. During the planting process, it can even spray sand-fixing agents, improving soil stability and preventing erosion. By April 2024, over 130 advanced machines, including the Jumang 301, will be deployed in the UCI desert of Inner Mongolia for large-scale testing and demonstration. Already, more than 30 of these devices have been tested on site, proving the incredible potential of mechanized desert control. These machines do more than plant, they collect samples, monitor conditions and provide real-time data through big data platforms. This information is critical for guiding ecological restoration projects, ensuring that each step is backed by accurate, up-to-date data. These advancements will help set new standards for environmental restoration practices across the globe. China has designated an impressive 8000-acre stretch of the Tenga Desert to showcase the capabilities of these modern desert control machines. During the trial phase, 100 sand stabilization machines, 50 automatic seeding machines, and dozens of transport vehicles and sand barrier spreaders were deployed. The performance of the Jumang 301 has far surpassed expectations, with its speed and precision revolutionizing desert control. In a single day, these devices have planted 260 acres of square grass plots an efficiency 50 times higher than traditional manual methods. Incredibly, the Jumang 301 can plant 159 salix trees per acre in just 20 minutes. This technological leap is not only accelerating the greening of decertified areas, but also paving the way for large-scale ecological restoration. The Jumang 301, this giant sand-swallowing beast, is a shining example of how technology is transforming the fight against desertification, bringing new hope to regions once thought impossible to reclaim. This machine is nothing short of a marvel. The Jumang 301 not only plants seedlings and spreads sand, but it also performs a range of critical functions like laying flat sand grids and vertically cutting seedlings. These unique features make it a powerhouse for desert control, combining sand prevention and management in one efficient system. Its daily operational capacity is truly astonishing. This machine can lay sand grid paving and barriers across 100 to 200 acres each day, drastically improving the stability of the desert sand and creating a more favorable environment for plant growth. But that's not all. The Jumang 301 can also establish vertical seedling sand barriers across 150 to 200 acres daily. These barriers serve as shields against wind and sand encroachment, allowing newly planted seedlings to grow in stable conditions and flourish, strengthening the desert ecosystem and combating erosion. It's a game changer for desert control efforts. Before this revolutionary technology, planting in deserts was an exhausting and slow process. Local residents had to work in pairs one would spread grass, while the other used a shovel to push it into the loose sand, often failing to dig deep enough for plants to reach vital water sources. The survival rate for these plants was tragically low, and only a few acres could be planted in a day, making progress painstakingly slow. The Jumang 301 has completely transformed this method. With its advanced intelligent control system, it can evenly distribute square grass patches across the sand while planting seedlings with pinpoint accuracy. It even adjusts the planting depth in real time, based on soil conditions, ensuring seedlings can tap into deep water sources. This significantly boosts plant survival rates, drastically reduces the need for manual labor, and brings a new level of efficiency to desert control efforts. This machine is helping create a more sustainable environment in decertified areas. When American engineers first heard about China's astonishing progress in desert control, many were left both shocked and skeptical. 
After all, the United States has its own challenges with desertification, with roughly 30% of its 9.6 million square kilometers affected, mostly in the southwest. In the mid-20th century, an unprecedented drought caused severe desertification, culminating in a catastrophic dust storm that swept through 31 states. This event is still remembered as one of the worst ecological disasters in US history, devastating crops and leaving the economy reeling. Over the years, the US has made significant efforts to fight desertification, from planting drought-resistant vegetation and building sand barriers to using advanced drip irrigation systems. Yet, despite these efforts, the harsh climate and frequent droughts have repeatedly stymied progress. Newly sprouted plants often wither, leading to repeated failures. In this context, the arrival of China's Jumang 301 sand-swallowing beast is a beacon of hope. The Jumang 301 represents a major leap forward in sand control technology. Combining artificial intelligence and advanced mechanical engineering, this machine autonomously identifies desert terrain, rehabilitates the soil and plants, vegetation all in one seamless operation. It has the potential to fundamentally transform desert ecosystems, not just in China, but around the world. If applied in the US, the Jumang 301 would not only represent a technological breakthrough, but also a shift in desert control strategy from labor-intensive methods to intelligent, automated sand management. This machine could pave the way for international collaboration in anti-desertification efforts, where countries like China and the US could learn from one another and work together to improve environmental conditions on a global scale. In a world facing the mounting challenges of climate change, such cooperation is more important than ever. Thank you for joining us on today's program. To stay up to date with all the exciting projects and innovations we cover, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. We've got plenty more fascinating stories lined up. See you in the next episode of Top Visionary. Take care.